everyone. So in this West Coast Swing video, we're going to be putting our syncopations such as uh, hitch kicks or kickball changes, hitches, knee lifts, and sweeps into some fun West Coast Swing patterns so that you can dance it and get used to putting those syncopations in lots of different places. Okay, so let's start out with a basic starter on one and two. One and two, three and four. We're going to pass with a tuck, five, six, seven, and eight, and one and two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, one. Yay! So let's break that down from the other side. Our triple triple on the starter, triple, regular triples. Triple. Now we're syncopating here, kickball changes. Kickball change. I'm having the follow on this little um, expand attack or leverage attack. Uh, do a, and, and it would be three of the pattern, but I believe one, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing it five, six, seven, and eight. Kickball change. For the leader. So go back into it again because I'm going to count that right. So we go one and two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight. He does one and two, three whip four. We have back hand change six, seven, eight. We leverage out for the heel heel two. Sugar push three, four, five, six. Tuck seven, eight. I'm syncopating on one, two, three, four. Inside free spin six, seven. A change that's me down, so I wait for him to unwind that turn. So let's break it down from, or count it down from this side. Sugar, or sorry, starter step, triple step, syncopation, syncopation, and seven, and eight, one, and two, three, four, behind the back hand change, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, that was your sugar push, tuck, seven, eight, and one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So Shane used both hands that time. You can use one hand, you can use both hands. The first hand is the important hand. So let's try it from this side. And five, sorry, one, two, three, and four. Kick five and six, and seven and eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven. Accelerate and one, two, three, four, five, six, Tuck seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Now shut her down. Six, seven, eight, one, two. And we'll do it. Did we do it from this side? If not, we're going to do it again. <laughs> there we did. Did we do it? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do it with music, but is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Jill, if you notice, I'm not staying on the track. I'm using more of a wide track. So, for an example, when I bring the girl out of um, close position and I want to create a slingshot instead of actually slingshot in a basic just bringing her down sending her out I'm sending her away on the three four of the pattern whether I kick ball change or I walk walk then away and then I get off the track for my kick ball change which is a and kick ball change and I have to come back to the other side so she knows that I'm leaving her with I'm on an over the top hand hold I don't worry about it because I've got to go to hammerlock. When I get here, I make sure that I'm there by eight. The girl may be a fraction later, it doesn't matter. Compression, like a sugar push, send her away and in. I don't travel, I collect under my body. I collect under my body from my three, four of the pattern, and then I anchor. For my tuck, I'm gonna go back and side, back, out to the side, because I might want to extend that at some point and then I send it out and I have more connection with the girl. I finish my anchor, then I bring her in, it's a flick to the hip, I catch, but I release. Best is catch with one hand, release to catch with the other hand, so when you turn, the girl knows that you want her to stay in place to accent there, and she'll actually add something for you as well, and then we actually made that more phrased. And for the follower, I just want to point out, I have you do these syncopations off of both sides of the body. So when we've got our starter step and we're doing our triple triple, our first one is off the right side of our body, but then the second one releases off the left side of the body. Then our leader takes care of it. Then we do the uh, whip. 
And this one's off the left side of the body into the sugar push. That's right. That's right. And then we do the left side free foot of the body when we do the tap. And then here we let him shine. So it's nice to be able to practice all these back in the drill video that Shane put together for the syncopations like the kickball change, the hitch, the knee up, and the swivels yeah. to be practicing off of both sides of the body because as we sprinkle it and it tends to land on somewhere in between the one, two of the pattern or the three, four of the pattern or the five, six of the pattern or the seven, eight of the pattern, um, you can use it wherever and you don't feel like it has to be just off one side of your body and you're limited to that. So we're gonna do it to music while Kerry sets up the music. Just remember, every Wednesday evening, we're gonna to go to live stream on Facebook. It will be a private invite for everybody that subscribes and then you can ask questions and we can break this down more if need be or clarify any of the parts that you don't know. Let's find some good music. practicing it don't forget always shoot us an email to ask questions and look for us on Wednesdays. <laughs> 